Good morning, everybody. I'm Teresa Perrin, and this is my stock market watch list for Thursday, December 15th, 2022. Hopefully you can hear me okay because I am, I think, getting sick. Um, I woke up very stuffy this morning, so I apologize for my voice, but let's get started. All right, guys, um, before I begin, I just want to let you know my list is very, very short today because there's not a whole lot going on in the market. I think that the market is very confused by Powell's speech because we got the 50 basis point hike that was expected, but I think Wall Street was also expecting him to say that because CPI has been so great, um, I mean, at least it appears that way. Personally, I don't see it. But the numbers of CPI look like inflation's really starting to come down. Um, they were expecting him to say that they would be considering doing either smaller rate hikes or halting um, going into next year. And he didn't say that. So I think the market this morning is very confused. There's not a whole lot of action going on. Futures are red. Um, I, I I don't even know what's going to happen today. Personally, um, what I'd be looking at to play would be things that are going to get a lot of movement in one direction or the other. The SPY, SPY, you could play calls or puts on that. Um, maybe something like SOX L if the market's red, SOX S if it goes green. I'm sorry, SOX L if it goes green, SOX S if it's red, forgive me. Um, and then Lab U if it's green, Lab D if it's red, you know, something like these reverse indices, the SQQQ, TQQQ, things like that you can look for volatility in. But these are the couple of stocks that I could find that could potentially move. TAL, T-A-L, which is um, a Chinese stock. Guys, Chinese stocks are also mixed this morning. So um, TAL and EDU are both green. I'd keep an eye on both of those. And TAL is actually my play of the week. I would expect TAL to go up, retest that 702. If it breaks through, guys, it could go. I'm not joking. And I'm not saying that it's going to happen this week. But it could go on a serious run all the way up to 19, especially if it breaks through 9. I would say seven. get your seven, 702 break um, potentially test that nine and then potentially get up to $19, $20, potentially very quickly. So, um, keep an eye on it. Mullen. All right, guys, Mullen had more great news yesterday and it is on a roll with breaking news. Will something else come out this morning? It's possible. That tends to be how David Mishery rolls. So maybe we can get Mullen back over 50 cents and heading towards a dollar. We'll see what happens. COSM. All right. This one was a retail favorite that ran all the way up to, gosh, I think it was like in the 80 cent range. They pulled it all the way down to a quarter. No surprise. Guys, you have to be very careful in these plays and do proper risk management. Um, however, this is running again. It's consolidated towards the end of the day. It's starting to break out this morning. I would keep an eye on it because I think it can head back to um, that 50 cent range. If it breaks that, it could potentially head towards $1. MMAT, Metamaterials. All right, guys, something crazy is going on with this because volume pumped into this at the end of the day in pre-market. Of course, their usual uh, low volume, they're able to pull stocks down a bit. They are running out of shares. I did a video on this last night. Please watch it because I think that there's a potential move in this that could lead to a short squeeze. And I'm not joking when I say that. It has the potential. Will it get there? That depends on what retail does with it um, because they are the drivers in this market um, as far as that stock goes. Novavax, NVAX. All right, guys, this was just tanked in after hours. And it was funny because I was looking at my screen for potential setups um, and was about to expand this one because I thought it was getting close to a bottom, which I've been thinking for a while, and it just seems to keep going down. Um, and wouldn't you know, it just went down like before my eyes super fast. Um, and I tweeted about it and somebody responded, oh, look on their website, they're doing an offering. And it hadn't hit the news or anything yet, but apparently they posted it on their website. So guys, is this a potential short opportunity to short it down more today. It could be, or it could be 
the way that we got our bottom and it could move to the upside. If Moderna continues to be on a strong run, that's ticker MRNA, then Novavax and Pfizer could potentially be rebound rallies. Um, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm so tired, guys. I don't feel good. Um, not rebound rallies, but they could be um, sympathy plays. So keep an eye on all three of those. Moderna, the options are very, very expensive if you play options. So uh, risky at this point. Tesla. Guys, Tesla um, got more bad news. Elon sold billions of dollars of Tesla. Um, I think it could go lower. I, 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 after it broke, um, 160, to be honest, I was eyeing the 130s. I, I think it's going to go lower today. So Tesla could be a good short opportunity. However, some people in the market are saying, oh good, now we know it's not because of Elon's politics that it's selling off and are actually looking at this as a buy. Personally, I don't think I would touch this as a buy right now. I think that big money is trying to tank it further. However, if it does start to show signs of a rebound, it could quickly move up. So it's hard to say. Meta, M-E-T-A. All right, guys, I expected Meta, Snap, and Pins to absolutely rip today, but it looks like all three in pre-market are getting a pullback. Is this just, you know, um, a little pre-market, not enough volume action by market makers to try to bring them down? Or is potentially all three of these going to go down with the market? Great question. However, based on the news that the government um, decided to ban TikTok on all of their government devices, um, I expect the three of those to have some moves to the upside on those new on that news. So let's see what happens today. Just be careful because I'm not quite sure why all three are down in pre-markets. Kaba, guys, if you were to pick one stock in the market, and I was saying this, and I've been saying it and thinking of adding to my position several dollars ago at this point, it's like, how can I when I bought this at like 86 cents? Um, but Kaba has a very, very strong uptrend. Yesterday, it made a new 52-week high. Guys, I firmly believe that Kaba is going to go to at least $12, if not higher. That is my target price for Kaba. And I don't normally tell people that, but you can go and look at a two-year chart, and that is what I'm basing it off of. Actually, it's just slightly under $12. It's $11 and change. However, I do believe that it could even go higher than that because there's not a lot of stocks that have been showing significant runs and gains in this market. And Kaba has been strong ever since like 50 something cents, guys. And I wish I bought it down there and I wish I bought more. Actually, I wish I transferred my whole portfolio to Kaba, but I would never do something like that. But it would have paid off very handsomely. Um, the stock, if you're looking for the ray of light, it is Kaba, and I believe that it's just getting a normal pullback, and I believe it goes higher. Now, guys, sometimes it takes a breather for a day before its next push, but I am watching Kaba carefully. Brush, B-R-S-H. All right, you may have heard me talk about this a few days this week because I am strongly watching it. This is the one-week chart. Check it out. This is pure consolidation. It came down off of the um, offering, and... It was a tiny, tiny float stock. It only had like half a million shares, guys. They did an offering of 5 million, well, 5 million units. So, or slightly under, maybe 4.5, something like that. But a lot compared to what the stock was. Um, and it tanked the stock down to that 50 cent level. Now I'm watching for the rebound of it. And I think it's just building its consolidation and soon it's going to break to the upside again because guys you have to think whatever institutions bought those units are going to want to run it back to the upside and I believe they bought them for like 60 cents I could be wrong um, but keep an eye on this ticker I definitely definitely think that any day now it's going to have a breakout ICVX. Guys, I don't know why this is running in pre-market. There's no new news that I saw. The last thing I saw came from December 14th, and that was that um, ISOVAC shares more than double after RSV drug trial results. So 
again, it's starting to move. Um, it's now more than it was that day. So I don't really know what's driving it this morning, but I think it's worth a mention because maybe the market's looking for something green in a very red environment. Um, here is what we have for top gainers. And guys, I don't mention a bunch of these because if you notice, they're all kind of penny-like stocks and I don't necessarily trust them. Be careful of pump and dumps on these names, but here they are. SCPS, C-O-R-Z, G-E-T-R, S-R-Z-N, and C-R-K-N. The top losers, T-H-R-D, H-U-I-Z, I-N-O, Z-C-M-D, and W-N-W. Guys, I am not familiar with anything on this list. Most active, PCG, Wish, and guys, I would say I've also been eyeing Wish. I'm waiting for this to potentially break to the upside. However, given the fact that I believe the stock was one of the ones on um, the uh, FinTwit uh, people that got in trouble, the Zach Morris crew, let's call it, um, for pump and dumps. Wish was one of those, but Wish was up to $30 at one time, and it's really been dumped down to $0.63. Cents. Um, I think Wish is very close to a bottom. I think right now what you're seeing is institutional loading on this stock, um, or retail loading, maybe somebody with big pockets, because it's been sitting around this level is it going to break to the upside soon? Your guess is as good as mine, but I'd keep an eye on that one. S-I-R-I, X-P, and V-N-T-R. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Good luck. Be careful out there. I'm not quite sure how the market's going to react coming off of Powell's speech. Um, honestly, I was expecting after that initial dip, a rebound rally that we never really saw. Um, do we get a dump? And I think that we could potentially hit 390 on the SPY if we do. And then do we get a Santa Claus rally? That's the question. As of today, it doesn't look like Santa Claus is coming this year. But guys, don't put anything past Wall Street. They all want bonuses. And I wouldn't be surprised if maybe the market takes a break. They take a couple days to just breathe. And maybe next week we come back strong. Again, your guess is as good as mine. I honestly don't know what's going to happen. That was my expectation going into this, especially knowing that we got the 50 basis point hike. Um, so let's see what happens.